Yeah, you said if ever you see me, you'll punch me in the face. Here's my face, go and punch me oh, in it. Oh, you're the one who spoke about me. About yeah, because you're not a trans person. You're a fucking asshole. Is that right? Fox, Fox, hello. You don't do that. Hello, really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Are you ready for it? Yeah, I have, that's right. Do you, you said you would beat me up. Oh, okay, let's see it. Let's go, bitch. Let's fucking go. You said you would punch me in the face. You said you would punch me in the face. Hey people, what's up? So we got some more drama, right? Elfie EOD Elfaba got herself in some drama at Pride, of course, of all places where I say this because I've not had like personal experiences with confrontations at like huge events because I try and get along with people as much as possible i'm not saying i get along with everybody but people i don't get along with i don't talk smack or talk shit online right i i put my points across and my opinions across without saying the most and then end up doing the least irl so it seems alfaba allegedly had said some things about natasha and natasha confronts EOD at London Pride and shit hit the fan. So we we get all of this stuff, you know, these Instagram stories kind of tell a tale, kind of spin a tale of exactly what Elfie wants to spin. So let's get into this and let's talk about it, okay? Hi guys, so there's a video that's probably going to go around. Someone um, tried to start on me twice the age of me and i just want to say something agree with me or not i don't actually give a fuck but if you agree with me i love you for the i die um she didn't do nothing she didn't do nothing we were innocently queuing for the queue that period. sounds crazy she's talking shit we're eight pounds everyone <laughs> eight pounds <laughs> we're just trying to have a good time Alba did nothing so basically someone tried to all right wait a second but did you do something before the pride? Did you say that you were going to do X, Y, and Z if you ever met somebody in person? Because if you did, that is actually doing something. Fight me, um, saying like, please got involved, got involved, please sort of myself, don't worry. Um, it's or just, you know what I mean? Like, I just want people to know that it's like, um, you have to like, or, happy pride! Um, I love you so much. I'll talk more about it later. We'll have all the cans. I love you. Happy Pride London. So I just want to say, I will stand up for myself against these horrible people who are twice the age of me, or like gangster granny, and I won't stop defending myself. And that's how I work, you know what I mean? Someone literally tried to fight me today. I just knew it was coming. I stood up for myself because, yeah, well, and she was the aggressor. Yeah, I even said, um, because it's probably going to get shared, but someone tried to fight me for, and she called me a fake woman and everything. It's Pride Day. Also, you're trans, so if you're any other trans people that agree, like, I'm not saying every trans person is like this. There's a tiny, tiny, tiny fraction of people who are competitive in the community saying that you're not a real woman, it's like the other. Bitch, fuck off. Accept everyone, love everyone, stop with the hate. There's what enough things going on in the world. Love people, period. My life is not people's fucking business. All right, uh, can I say something here? You might agree with this or might not, but was Pride the place to really do a confrontation uh, with Elfie? Think about this, okay. It's London Pride. It's a event that's supposed to celebrate the community, right? Why would you dirty or sully that by having a confrontation there? No, I'm not sticking up for Alpha, but I'm just putting food for thought out there. Like it's kind of like you you are at your your own wedding or you're at I don't know some sort of amazing event for your, yourself or your family, and then somebody comes and sullies it or you sully it because you want to fight. Like it just doesn't make any sense to me like just move on keep it pushing squash the beef and don't have a confrontation as such an uh, important and monumentous occasion because 
Pride is a progressive thing. It's supposed to lift up and elevate the community. If I was, you know, there, would I want to start an argument which kind of takes away from it? No, because then people could be like, hey, this is what this is what they all do. This is what they all do. They just come here and start fights because I go to certain events because I'm from Canada. I go to certain events. I used to go to Caribana all the time. But lately I haven't because every time I've been going to Caribana, there's some sort of fight. Then there's some sort of stampede. And then in the news, people start talking about not having Caribana around anymore in Toronto because all that happens is that people get hurt or people get shot or people get shanked. All this sort of negative behavior that kind of surrounds the event that was supposed to originally and still is to me, in my opinion, a very positive thing. But this is why you don't want to muddy the waters with this negativity because then other people will use it as a tool to try and get certain events and things cancelled and that's just my point right would i in natasha's position do this a pride no i probably wouldn't if i was that angry and typically i'm not a, i'm not an angry person but if i was that angry and i still wanted to confront i would do it maybe after maybe someplace else but there's just certain events i feel shouldn't get muddied or dirtied where you have a confrontation that might actually end up physical you know what i mean Trans rights or human rights? Mm hmm. Let's go. Oh, it's, the lighting's just great. Yeah. All right. Um, uh, I'll skip that. I'll skip that because I don't want a uh, a copyright claim. So let's go forward a little bit, okay? All right. So people, please tell me your thoughts about this whole thing addressing the situation. If you were Elphaba, what would you do? So if, you if you were Natasha, what would you do? I'd really like to hear your opinions on both sides of the argument because your opinions do matter. I mean, I take them to account sometimes. My own opinions changes based on what other people are saying. Like, um, I treat this as a learning experience, a learning platform, edutainment, as you can say. Well, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Um, I will play at the end of this uh, a little bit of Elphaba's response to this whole situation. But thank you so much, everybody, for watching or listening to this video. Really do appreciate it, friends. Smash that like button and all that good stuff. Leave me a comment and I'll see you later. I'm so sorry. I won't ever have it. <sighs> <sighs> Lord, you are fucking beautiful, every one of you, and I am honoured to be a part of something that is beautiful and love always wins, and do you, do you know why love always wins? I might cry, I'm sorry. Do you know why love always wins? Because someone came up to me after this happened in real life and someone came up and said, are you okay? And I was like, thank you, because that's so sweet. And she was like, you're from TikTok. And I'm like, yeah. She's like, I'm sorry about the hate you got online. And I was like, thank you, because you're so sweet. You're amazing, it's iconic. And we got a picture, we chilled. I asked what her name was, I loved her dress, everything. It was just amazing. And I was told to, stay with the police and work for seven minutes. I was like, can I just please go? Because I don't want to be near her. So I just want to say to you right now, I will say this online, I don't care if this is recorded. You're the aggressor, Natasha. You're the aggressor. You started this whole entire thing when you could have ignored me and enjoyed your day. You're the aggressor. You came up to me. I didn't come up to you. Remember that, babe. And the police remember that as well. You put your phone up to me and you came up to me. I didn't come up to you. And that's a difference. For it daily, yourself. And you want to bestow an aggressive behavior towards me? How fucking dare you? I'm sorry, but how dare you? You're twice the age of me. You're old enough to be my mum, my grandma. I'm being serious. Real fucking life. You should be, and I'll be honest with you, 
even if I hated you, no, I don't care about this right now. People saying age discrimination, it's not age discrimination, it's age awareness. Because I know for a fact, someone 20 years, the old, 20 years older than me will know, oh, she's 20, she's growing. Do you get what I'm saying? She's growing. This is not some sort of, because if I, same, fair enough, same age, fair, but you're 40, I'm 20. If I was a child, if I was 16 years old, and the same thing happened, I guarantee you it would be the same situation. Guarantee you. Guarantee fucking to you. Put a green in the chat if you agree. Because she's only 20 years older than me, so, do you know what I mean? Do you know what 20 years older. Plus, that's, that's a big fucking age gap. Big. Old enough to be my grandma, babe. No, it's not age discrimination, babe. It's age awareness. You know better. You're older than me. Even security looked at her like, why are you climbing over the fence? She climbed over the barricades to start on me. Climbed over it. When I was just looking at her like, you're a fucking asshole, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Why are you approaching me like this? And I'm defensive, babe. Sorry, it's in my blood. If someone comes up to me and calls me a fucking fake woman i will fucking stand for myself i can't just ignore it i do try to i should next time in all fairness i'll train myself to but you shouldn't do that to people it's really wrong especially on especially at london pride especially at london pride and the policeman even said to me what the fuck like even like the policeman was like why they took and i was like girl i know I know, my f I had witnesses who would back me up. She had no one else. She was on her own to do that to someone. I have witnesses, babe. Witnesses who saw the whole thing. So, you choose what side you're on, babe. It's all right, I respect. But if you're on my side, I just want to say, I am 20 years younger than this person. And in hell, if I was 40, I wouldn't even do that to a 20 year old. I wouldn't, I would literally ignore them. Do you know what I mean? I've ha I have teenagers say shit to me all the time. I ignore them. I don't choose to fucking fight them. Do you get what I'm saying? It's the exact same thing. 